For this city centre walk, we're journeying to the northeast of England and the historic city of Newcastle upon Tyne. It starts in Granger Town, heads past the Holy Jesus Hospital, through Manor and Northumbria University, past the monument, through Chinatown and Blackfriars, before arriving back at the start. It's about four and a half miles and should take about three hours or slightly longer if you get distracted by the shopping. Arriving in the city by train means that the best place to begin is Granger Street in Granger Town, the historic heart of Newcastle. Based around classic streets built by local born developer Richard Granger, Granger Town features some of the finest buildings in the city. The area features a Grade 1 listed covered market, home to perhaps the smallest branch of Marks & Spencer, a market store. We continue on to Grey Street, built in the 1830s by Granger and the architect John Dobson, who later designed Newcastle's Central Railway Station. Grey Street is the home of the magnificent Theatre Royal, with perhaps the finest theatre facade in the UK. It was built in 1837 and opened three months before Queen Victoria came to the throne. We carry on along Grey Street and turn left onto Mosley Road. And here at number 13, a young Joseph Swan joined John Mawson's chemist business in 1846. It was Swan's experiments here that led to his invention of bromide paper for photographic printing, a version of which is still used today. Swan's other major invention, the incandescent electric light bulb, has only just begun to be phased out of use some 140 years later. At the corner with the Pilgrim Street roundabout, we turn right and head underneath the busy road via the subway, which brings us out beneath the impressive bridge which carries the East Coast main line above parts of the city. Around the other side, and in view of the famous Tyne Bridge, built in 1928, are the remains of something rather more older. Newcastle's medieval town walls. This is a corner tower, one of 17 along a 3 km or 2 mile long wall which protected the town against the threat of invasion from Scottish armies. Much more of the old town walls survive in the west side of the city, and we'll see more of it later. Back under the bridge, and in front is the Holy Jesus Hospital, opened in 1682, and built on the spot once taken by an Augustian friary which existed here between the early 1300s and 1539. It wasn't a hospital in the way that we know today, but sheltered accommodation for the retired skilled workers and tradesmen of the town, called freemen. Each room was home to only one person. All of the cooking, eating and sleeping was done in this room. At the time, the rooms were considered very large for one person and records show that it was normal for up to eight people to live in a room the same size on the quayside. The Holy Jesus Hospital was lived in until 1937 and today is owned and cared for by the National Trust. Heading back under through the subway and onto Pilgrim Street bearing northwest and on the left is Alderman Fenwick's house a Grade 1 listed early 17th century merchant's house, which was greatly restored by the Tyne and Weir Buildings Preservation Trust in the 1990s. It is important as it is only one of two intact 17th century brick buildings that survive in the city, the other being the Holy Jesus Hospital. At the top of Pilgrim Street, we take a right onto New Bridge Street West and past the Laying Art Gallery, which houses an extensive collection of paintings by local artist John Martin. They also do a nice cup of tea. 
From there, it's over the very busy A167M towards Manners. During the dissolution of the monasteries, which started in 1536, the Augustian Friary, which was on the site of the Holy Jesus Hospital, was taken over by Henry VIII, and the surrounding area became known as King's Manor. Next is a walk through the modern campus of Northumbria University, the original Newcastle Polytechnic. This city campus east opened in September 2007, with this new footbridge opening in 2008. This is number 4 Ellison Place, which was the birthplace of Cardinal Basil Hume, leader of the Catholic Church in England and Wales from 1976 until his sudden death from abdominal cancer in 1999. Just around the corner is the City Hall, which opened in 1927. Across the road is an often overlooked piece of public art. ending this walk through Newcastle's interesting past.